hey YouTubers, welcome back to Fun With Our RV. Now today we're going to be doing an upgrade, I guess you could say, I, honestly I think of it maybe as a repair um, of a design flaw that if you have a 2022 or older Dutchman product, there's a better than 50-50 chance you have this going on in your RV. I'm going to spend $10 and completely fix this problem. Now, as always, two things. One, I'm not an expert. We're going to learn together. We're going to figure out how to do this. Two, hey, we uh, YouTubers, we live and die for your uh, uh, for your clicks, you know, your your likes and your subscriptions. So take a few moments and do that. It costs you nothing but helps us out greatly and enables us to be able to be here and give you these videos. Remember, we're, uh, we're not full-timers. We're not experts. We're part-timers, probably just like you. We're retired people, and we're learning as we go about this cool RV thing, okay? So come on, come with us. Let me show you this problem and maybe how to fix it. Okay, if, like I said, you have a Dutchman product, like a Coleman and some others, and uh, it's a 2022 or older, there's probably a 50-50 chance you've got this issue. Now, Dutchman tends to buy different products and, and change little things along the way throughout a model year, so this could exist even on some newer models, but I know it exists on uh, 2022 and before because the salesmen who make these videos keep talking about it and it's terrible and then here's something he'll say he said all right we've got your control panel up here and your hot water heater your water heater control which turns off and on your water here is conveniently located right up here underneath this thing all right he's just trying his best to make something horrible look good I can't imagine a more inconvenient place and not only that, but you really can't tell if it's off or on. There is a indicator on off switch kind of thing on there, but you've got to get underneath here and get a flashlight or something to figure it out. And uh, the only way to tell if it's on or not, because the minute it ignites, everything goes off. And the only way to really tell is you got to put your ear down here and listen to the water heater coming on and the, uh, and the, the, uh, the gas burning, you know, but uh, when that goes off, and it's gonna come on later when everything cools off you have no way of knowing if it's on or off the the light that's up here doesn't come on when you turn on the the heater it only comes on while the igniter the pilot if you will ignites the gas for a couple of seconds and the way i do it is i turn it on and if the light doesn't uh, go off in a matter of three or four seconds then i need to maybe turn on my propane or figure out what else is wrong Okay, and that's really the only way to tell. And so if you're getting ready to go home and you're going, did I turn it off, did I turn it on? Well, let's see if it comes on. Okay, it comes on, turn it off. And if it doesn't come on, was it off? Was it, did you, what? It's hard to tell. So I'm going to replace this switch with a much better one. I'll show you both of them side by side here in a couple of minutes. And we're gonna put it up here, right next to this pretty good control panel they have right here. If you see a 2023 uh, commercial that Camping World or somebody does, you'll see that the water heater, they must have gotten some complaints. You'll see that the water heater switch is right here and that's where we're going to put it. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, here's the switch that I'm gonna be putting on and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, now it's gonna look great. It's gonna work great. You're gonna be able to tell if it's off or on. Now I've got three methods that I've been playing with in my head for a month now on how to install this thing. Number one would be to uh, swing around here just a little bit. Number one, I thought, well, I'll just take this whole panel off here and that will go give me access to all the wires and stuff like that there. Then, then after that, what I will do, let's see, here we go. Shot up underneath there. I will, I will take this apart and this drops down and there's wires connected to the back of this thing and I will um, then kind of feed one wire at a time up into there and reaching through over here I'll hook it up. Or uh, the other thing I could do, no, rule, ideal number two, was just cut a hole here, 
and don't mess with this. Once that drops down, try to feed the wires up to it and, and put it here like that. And that's probably the most difficult one. And then just today, I got to looking at this in preparation for this video and it hit me. I could probably get in here. There's a, there's a little bitty flimsy panel here that is kind of just barely tacked in place with a couple of screws like just here on the base that kind of thing I can take that out take that out have full access to all the wires and everything here and I can put this thing here and then I can do all this pull it up do it it's, it's that should work perfectly and that's the way we're gonna go with first I'm gonna take this panel out here and then hook it up okay you ready here we go all right all right look two screws one two on there one right here I'm gonna take those uh, three out and we'll have complete access to behind all that wiring I have found that things like this, magnetic things like this, you can put it in a car, do whatever, are very handy. I can drop my screw in there like that. It's not gonna go anywhere, and I can do the next one. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, quick shot of this. almost fits perfectly. I'm just going to kind of go along the sides here and try to mark there and across the top here where it may be. Give me an, an idea of how much bigger I have to make it. That didn't help at all. Let's try it again. I mean that's almost good. It's pretty much right here on the side is where I'm going to have to do it. So let's try to get that. Okay, look at that. Got a couple of marks there. All right, here we go. When I'm working on stuff like this, something weird happens. What's this? I turn into Ray Romano. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, I'll be right. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I'll be right. Come on. See? By the way, my wife just loves it when I make a mess like this in the RV. Don't you, honey? <laughs> All right, that's just a dry fit right there. Look at that. Man, I, I, for somebody who doesn't know what he's doing, that's gonna, that's gonna be okay, don't you think? All right. Okay, the lesson here is this. It's like changing the spark plugs in your car. When you're uh, 16 years old, you really haven't worked on a car before, and you think, you know what, I'm going to change my spark plugs, or I'm going to change my spark plug wire. Somebody tells me my spark plug wire is, is affecting the performance. And so you go in there, and you rip out all the spark plugs, or the spark plug wires, and then you have no idea where they go, because they go all kinds of things. So what you do is you replace one wire, one spark plug at a time. Undo this one, pull whatever you do, do that like that, replace everything, put it back here, and then do another one. You do the same thing here. I'm not going to just blink, pull this thing off of here, and then try to remember where the green goes here and the pink goes there. I'm going to take a, uh, take it, and pull it apart, pull one wire off, okay? One wire. This is going to be the red one. All right. And then I'm going to take the red wire and I'm going to put it through this hole and I'm going to put it where it goes. And it goes at the uh, top of the light. So this is going to be here we go. It goes at the top of the light. Boom. And then I'm going to pull off another one. How about uh, this? this oh, now see I've done it. That's good. Right, here we go. Yeah, but, oh, my, that's why 
they do this. Things like that happen. All right. I, okay. And, and did you notice the lights flashing off and on like that? What does that tell you? Tells you I'm doing this with the wires all hot. Now, if you've ever been shocked by um, a uh, 12 volt battery, you'll know that it will make you say bad words in front of your mother. It really will. So, um, this one's slightly different. Now then, we accidentally unplugged one, but that's no big deal because we still have one that is still plugged in. And where does it go? It goes here on the switch itself. So it's a chance it's going to be hot too. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, well. The, uh, uh, the, this little part right here came loose, no big deal, we can fix that. And, uh, and we'll get back with you. We okay, when I was swapping them out, the uh, uh, blade connector came off of this wire right here, but as luck would have it, I have a uh, little, uh, I don't know, gum container here that I put uh, wire connectors that I come across or whatever uh, in, and I've got as luck would have it. Brand new connector that I'm going to put on. There now. Doesn't that look better?